<laughs> okay, what are you up to this time? Okay, you're turning the frogs into monkeys in pirate suits. And look, an orangutan. Ah, crap, he made it huge. Like, really, what's that supposed to do? I seriously don't have a clue. Okay, so the boss of this world is a giant orangutan. So, what we gotta do is smack it with the bowling ball. And once he hits the ground, we obviously gotta pretty much hit him, hit him with a ground pound. And also, watch out for these monkeys, too, because, well, they'll try to take the ball, and actually, uh, not only will they try to juggle it, but, uh, they may also pop it if they hold it for too long, so keep that in mind. Also, the orangutan, as, uh, you deal more and more damage to him, he'll shrink. So, it'll become a little bit harder to hit him out of the tree. And also, if you get too close to the orangutan, well, he'll jump out of his hiding place and he'll try to kill you. And obviously, if he squishes you, he'll kill you instantly. And also, I think if he squishes the ball too, it'll automatically destroy it. Why did it turn into a crystal? I'll never know. Huh, I didn't know I could do that. Well, that makes things easier. Ugh, dang it, I missed my chance. And also, if, uh, if the orangutan... Uh, uh, no, that wasn't what I meant to say. If you happen to take too long when uh, taking the orangutan down, well... Damn it! Well, he'll obviously get himself back up, so... Yeah. I don't think there's any way to get rid of these monkeys. Again, that's just something you gotta deal with. And also, after you knock the orangutan on its on its back, you pretty much gotta go for him and uh, just uh, let the monkeys do their thing. Just uh, leave the monkeys alone for the most part. They really won't hinder you too much. All they all they'll concentrate on doing is just trying to get the ball away from you. So again, you don't really need to worry about that too much. Well, the orangutan is almost dead, thank god, and it only has one more hit to go. Here's another little interesting thing. Even if you turn your Nintendo 64 off, well, you won't lose your high score, so, great! Hmm, okay. The last hit on this orangutan, well, obviously it's the hardest. Because, well, it's at its uh, smallest form, and to tell the truth, it's actually back to normal. So, yeah, again, the orangutan, it, it's not the worst boss to fight, but it is definitely one of the harder ones, despite it being level 2. But, thankfully, the orangutan doesn't really stray too far from where it originally came from, and that is just a swing on the trees. Yeah, this uh, one tree in the middle of the island, basically, that's all it swings on. Dang it. Stupid orangutan, and for some reason, it's still able to kill me even in its smallest form. Hmm. Okay. No, that's not close enough. Hmm. I haven't thought of really smacking it. I mean, it's an idea. And to tell the truth, I probably should try doing that, but of course I failed miserably the first time. There we go! I'll get over there, thank you. Now die! There we go! And we're done. Of course, now we just gotta get the ball away from the monkeys, and head to the level exit, which is located right here in this chest. And we are finished! Alright, well done. Pirates is complete, but you missed some card. 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 Cards. Whatever, we missed some cards. I know. 
Well, unfortunately, since we missed uh, some cards, we won't have access to the bonus level until we actually collect all the cards. Obviously, if you haven't collected all the cards in a level, you won't get a star over the particular level number. So, just yeah, just keep that in mind if you happen to miss some cards and whatnot. So, okay, now that that's out of the way, we can uh, actually now take this ball to the castle and pretty much turn it back into a crystal. And yes, you can kill yourself here too. Just uh, don't do it. Why would you? Other than to uh, have a little fun, piss Glover off, just for kicks. Okay. Cool. Alright, Pirates is now complete. I know I missed some cards and whatnot, but, uh... Again, I'm probably not going to go for them until a little bit later. Okay, now that the level 2 is done, the sky actually doesn't look as bleak or as evil, and to tell the truth, things have actually gotten a little bit better around here, so that's good. Okay, so the rest of the hub kind of looks like this. There's a... Actually, that's not level 3. I thought that was level 3, and it just goes around in a circle. Obviously, that's wrong. There's a... The ne another level we gotta go to a little bit later. I think that's actually the final level. And that, uh, you know, with the moon and the saucer and crap. There's another level that's, uh, it's actually a dinosaur themed world, actually. Kind of odd, but whatever. It's dinosaurs, and dinosaurs are awesome. So, whatever. Next time in Let's Play Glover, we will be proceeding onward to the circus. And that will actually be a lot of fun. I'll tell you that. Seriously, we're going to have a really great time with uh, the circus world. So, okay, see you guys later.